So I've got a piece of paper back here, and I'm just kind of uh, drawing a line from this flange to that flange, approximately giving me an idea the approximate length of it and curvature. So, yeah. Now we'll just have to do the uh, other one back here. Alright, that's what we ended up with. So we'll just cut that out and see where it puts us. I always like to cut it a little bit um, wide because you can always cut more off, but you can't cut off less. So there we go. So that's kind of gonna be the shape, I think, that I'm gonna go with. All right, so I've got the uh, first template here. Pretty close to where I think I want it. It's not um, overlapping a lot on either flange. It actually fits perfect into each one, so. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and cut two of these out of the stainless steel plate and see where we end up. Let's find out how that stainless cuts. First thing we do is trace it out. I'm going to try and um, use up as much space as possible. I have extra stainless here. I don't need it for anything else, but I think it's just a good practice. Ah, uh, no, we ain't gonna be able to fit two on there. So, I'll just bounce this one up here. Do the same on this side. There they are. Now we will start cutting on the bandsaw. So I'm digging the fit um, on both pieces. The next step is gonna be to see if I can't stabilize the turbo a little bit better than with this strap and bungee cord and get these two pieces tacked on. And then we can um, maybe design the uh, other two pieces and pull this piece off, get it welded into one piece. So, well, it took me about two seconds to realize how stupid I was being uh, trying to tack something up over there since I already have the pieces cut where I like them. What I'm gonna do is just uh, tack it up over here and then put it back on. Actually, I might not even put it back on. I might just make the other two pieces and then weld on the wastegate flange and then install it permanently. So let's do that.
so the adapter is all tacked together, uh, at least the two side pieces are. And this is what we're working with so far. Custom T3 to T4 adapter. Um, it's ready to test fit. I was gonna keep welding it, but I always have to remind myself to just tack weld and then test fit and then test fit more and uh, finish weld last. That's the most important thing. But this is strong enough now to where we're not gonna need this bungee cord. We ain't gonna need this, uh, any of this crap anymore, honestly. Let's just get it out of here. And we will get this turbo mounted. Man, I love it when a plan comes together. The fitment is perfect. And the adapter is uh, looking good. Just gonna run a flat plate here and there and then mount the wastegate. And then mount that monster. So, it's already pretty late. I think I'm gonna call it for tonight and finish the adapter tomorrow. And I have to order flanges also for these two turbos to make the um, exhaust to feed the, the primary. So probably gonna be stalled out on this project as well after tomorrow, but we'll get there tomorrow. Well, the day is Monday and uh, I was laying in bed last night about to fall asleep thinking about this, of course, and uh, it dawned on me that once I have the correct Marmon flange for the uh, back of this turbo, there's no way I'm gonna find a tight enough radius 90 to uh, clear the oil filter. So I'm gonna have to remake these and kick the turbo out maybe three inches, and uh, that should solve that issue. So the good news is um, we already know how far we want the flanges spaced apart and we already know the width that each of these pieces needs to be. So essentially all I'm really gonna do is just, uh, instead of having these be curved, I'm just gonna make them um, completely straight and that should kick the turbo out uh, plenty. So first thing I gotta do is gonna cut off these tack welds, separate it back into three pieces. So I got a couple new pieces cut out, and like I said, I just made them straight. So we're gonna go ahead and get them tack welded to the flanges here, and then go see if uh, it clears the oil filter housing. Well, unfortunately, I gotta run to the welding supply store because my uh, supply line for my argon tank sprung a leak, and that stuff is way too expensive to be dumping into the air. Luckily, I only live about two minutes away from the welding supply store, so. We're already back in action, and uh, let's get these pizzas packed together. So it was a pretty easy fix. I mean, it sticks out quite a bit more than uh, I was hoping for, but you know, we got a clear path for the exhaust now. Whoops. Anyways, let's uh, get this thing fully welded up and turned into an actual adapter. So here it is. Um, got it all completed and fully welded. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add the flange for the wastegate right here before I call it a night. And then I should have uh, turbo number one hung and the wastegate hung, so we are making some pretty good progress. Another successful night. The uh, adapter is completely finished. I got the V-band flange welded on there for the wastegate. And uh, I'm just waiting now for my uh, flanges for here 
and tubing also so that I can make the uh, U-bend that comes up here to mount this turbo to and then this will feed into that as well and uh, we'll be looking good so that's it for tonight.